G'day guys and welcome to another episode of Team Mad Mullet Fishing Adventures. So today what we're actually doing is uh, targeting flathead on soft plastics. We've got um, some beautiful uh, Blackbeard's plastics that um, they've given us to, to try out. Our paddle tail and what we're actually using oops, is a, um, a 1 6th 3 H hook by uh, Nitro TTs. So what you want to do when you you're putting your plastics on is put put them on a bit like a worm. So as you're feeding it down, you're sort of twisting it around the shank of the hook. Like so. You want it sitting pretty straight. I've got a, a slight little bend in that, but that's not too bad. That that'll work very well in the the uh, the water column. That paddle tail wriggles nicely. A nice gape between the hook point and the actual plastic, so it's good penetration there. What we're actually doing, I'll cast this one out and give you a bit of demonstration. Look at it. Hit the bottom. Bit of a bounce, bounce. Wind up your slack, hit, let it hit the bottom again. And just keep repeating. Depending on what depth you're in, is depending on how often you uh, jig and retrieve. Now we're in between one and 2.5 meters of water, so that jig head sinks fairly quickly. Just keep repeating until you get a nice hook up. On my first lizard, definitely not a big fish. Oh, I'll lift him in. Nice little lizard. He's 33 centimeters, so um, he's going back in. We just uh, come over the back of a drop off, and I said to the guys, you know, just cast along this drop off, there should be a lizard sitting along here somewhere. And sure enough, the old boy's onto its first ever flooded on plastic. Yes, that's right. Oh, that's a bit bigger. Yeah. Stay on four pounds, so he has to take his time. One more pump up. There he is. There we go. Oh, beautiful. That's nice to have a first one. Well, congratulations, old boy, on your first fish on Thank you. plastic. Inhaled it. Yep. Forty-five centimeters. Nice eating size fish. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with keeping a fish for a feed. So, what I'll do is I'll look at that. It's how easy the line come off. I'll just uh, cut this one's throat. and put it on ice. Thank you. 
The old boy's on to another fish and it's only a bubba, but it's what we came out to the tar to target. And that's the main thing. Is tar if you're catching fish, on the technique you're using, at least you know you're doing it right. Hey little bubba, go back in the water. All you have to do is, you know, just keep it up. If you haven't got a fish in a little while, don't let it dishearten you. There we go. Definitely not a big fish at all. Yeah, a little tucker. But like I was saying earlier, if you get the fish you're going at target for, target, you know you're doing the right thing. We'll put this little guy back. Bit better flooded, I think. Ah, where is he? Straight down at the moment. Yep, that's a better fish. Tell me anyway, maybe. Nah, that's right, old boy. There we go. Another flathead. Oh, the lure just came out of its mouth. Another fish for the table. Oh, uh, get this one into the esky and we'll keep fishing. Alrighty guys, I'll run uh, a bit through the gear I'm using today. So uh, anyway, anything from a 2,000 size reel to 3,000 size reel, match to a, a one to three or two to five kilo rod, your poundage of line of, is your choice basically. Today I'm running 10 pound the 15 pound leader, nothing fantastic. You know, any rod will, will, will catch a good flathead and a good old um, black beards baits. Now, as you can see down here, this is only a, an, a, a, a brief, I should say, a, a select few of what they've actually got. You know, they've got heaps of different colors and styles and you know, they've got a really, really good action to them. I'll um, give you a bit of look in the water if you can see this. See that tail wagging really nicely through the water there. It's a really, really top action to them. And uh, yeah, it's, they've come up, they've worked really, really, really well on the flathead today down here at Jumping Pin. Alrighty guys, uh, stay tuned as winter comes along, we're gonna go out and target some luderick and brim and you know snapper and whatnot. So um, until next time, cheers and good luck.